so hey everyone uh, welcome back on the channel welcome back to another renewal of sr3 video uh, we're again trying uh, spider-man miles more or less but this time we got uh, lots of files like uh, this zip will be for the rtx users this is fully stable like uh, no tweak or anything needed if you have an rtx gpu and you can use all upscaler like dlss xcss and uh, fsr and this zip will be for gtx and uh, amd card users this zip is also updated uh, it has no hood flicker issue and you can also use dlss fsr and xcss with this zip too for gtx and amd user so we're gonna try both the zips uh, i have an rtx 2060 so we're gonna try this rtx zip 2 and gtx zip 2 so let's begin with the after any further ado so first i'm gonna extract this uh, zip in the directory and copy everything inside of it so uh, first let me tell you that uh, you will need uh, the version of uh, 2.1012 so if you don't have this version maybe this mod will not work on your uh, game uh, but if you want to update this game to the latest version uh, join my discord i will provide you some method by which you can update your game to this latest version so after pasting the mod uh, if you run the game and click on the launcher and go to setting you can see that uh, frame generation has come online you can take it click on ok and uh, i will play and now i'll speed up the video a little so i'm back in the game you can see already the fps is like a sky high but i'm first i'm gonna set the frame generation off and test the fps without the frame generation and then I'll switch it on uh, to show you guys like how much it's boosting further. Uh, I'm also playing on 1080p um, and the graphics preset is set on like uh, high. Uh, only these two are medium because these two are bit heavy on the CPU side and I have a medium CPU. So that's why I have reduced these two and medium and rest of everything is on high. So on high without uh, the frame generation activated I am getting around like uh, 80 uh, 70 and sometimes even dropping to like uh, 60 fps when there's a uh, there you can see uh, when there's a demanding area or demanding texture is on the screen so yeah let's uh, activate the frame animation from the menu so gonna go to setting display uh, after that turn on the frame generation on hit apply continue and come back to the game and now it's 120 to 130 depending on scenarios and it's fully stable no hood flicker at all uh, but this is uh, for the rtx users because this zip is for the rtx uh, card users only and uh, it's also compatible with like uh, fsr and xcss i will show you that too so right now i'm on dlss but uh, i can switch it to fsr 2.1 and i can use it on fsr 2 uh, also uh, you can also use it on xcss i will show that too in a second uh, just let me play through on rtx for a bit of seconds so fsr2 uh, boost even a little bit further because uh, you know dlss is more stable it gives you like a better image quality than fsr but fsr has a little shimmering but it offers a little bit more fps like you can see it's all time like uh, it's uh, already like 130 40 like it's reaching 120 30 by 90 um, percent of the time but dlss was little bit struggling to get like uh, 130 fps uh, now i'm gonna switch to xcss real quick and there xcss hit apply come back uh, and now you can see also the xcss gameplay xcss is also similar to dlss like it will give you a little less fps but the image quality is a bit uh, good than fsr but a little worse than dlss so my recommendation if you are an rtx user just uh, stick to dlss and you will be good to go uh, okay so the rtx zip test it has now ended now we will test the gtx and amd zip so for that i'm gonna quit the game
and extract this uh, spider one miles more LLs fsr3 for gtx and amd zip and oh uh, first i'll need to remove the previous files right i have mastered the technique of deleting files without seeing the zip how cool is that okay uh, i think we have deleted all the files of that zip now we're gonna paste this one okay after pasting the file uh, you can edit the fsr to fsr 3 config uh, like uh, if you don't see the dlss option uh, you can just run the game and from the launcher uh, you can see if the dlss frame generation has appeared or not if the frame generation does not appear uh, you can do one thing simply just uh, edit the fsr2 fsr3 config to ml with notepad and turn this uh, fake nvidia gpu to true and click on file and click on save and after that uh, you will be able to uh, get this frame <laughs> Uh, okay, we're back in the game again and you can see the frame rate is already sky high uh, That's because uh, In the previous mod if you uh, use that mod you will only be able to use like uh, DLSS FSR on your choice But uh, if you use this mod uh, even if you set the quality uh, upscaler on DLSS you will use FSR mm, That's the algorithm uh, switched into the mod uh, that's why like the fps is all time like 140 and all because fsr boost fps a little bit further than dlss and uh, you can see you can also use fsr uh, quality uh, with this mod there is a little flicker in the hood but nothing major in the gameplay uh, so my previous mod had some issues like if you switch to fsr the hood will like uh, stuck to your ui and all uh, you can't switch um, rather than dlss to anything you will need to use like dlss in the previous mod but in this one it's totally fixed also the cpu usage has been worked a little bit like uh, it's now a little bit lower uh, with previous mod i was getting around like 70 80 percent fps uh, cpu usage but now it's around staying around uh, 60 to 50 percent most of the times and if i stop recording it will get even a little lower like uh, all time 50. so yeah this is also compatible with dlss fsr and xcss i'll just show you in a second now i'm gonna hit xcss and you can see it's also compatible with xcss too and this is not fake frames or anything this is a pure uh, frame because uh, some users will comment down in the comment section like uh, it's only works with when the dlss is selected but in this case this is not the uh, case uh, in this case you can use all of this upscaler uh, and it will work 100 uh, percent and about uh, the um, text editing issue like if you don't uh, get the dlss only then uh, edit the fsr to fsr 3 config to ml uh, first just try to run once uh, without uh, editing the text and see if you do get the um, dlss frame generation option or not if you don't get then enable then uh, edit the tweak uh, but don't uh, edit the tweak at first you will can may run some into um, some issues like you can see uh, two warning they showed earlier uh, like my gpu is 1490 and all you can have some issues and all so yeah um, this will be it uh, now i'm gonna end the video because i've got more works to do uh, next i think will be a cyberpunk high cpu usage fix uh, with uh, all upscaler working and also i got dying light 2 in the library uh, new version of the mod so yeah thank you for watching if you face any kind of issue comment down below subscribe to the channel if it helps you and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers